team missing the playoffs last year and uh, having an opportunity to be back this year and, and getting ourselves back this year. Um, you know, I, I just feel I came a long ways and um, I'm not even fully uh, who I was uh, athletic wise and, and strength wise. Uh, but to get my team back to this this point and um, no, we got guys that's been there. We got guys that have been to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, so we know what it takes at this point. Paul George knocks down his first field goal. Miles Turner checked into the ball game during that last break. That a seven to nothing Toronto run has them leading by seven. George on the drive draws the foul against Damari Carroll. But George took it back and scores the bucket. Paul George looking like his old self there. C.J. Miles from deep, and he knocks down the three to quiet the crowd. And he liked that he, he kept shooting. One, Pacers and Raptors, and Rosen went into a lot of traffic and lost the handle. George for three, and a good start in the third quarter for Paul George, and that is the first lead of the ball game for the Indiana Pacers. Okay, so let me ask you this. If, you, if you're trying to exercise some first-round demons of your Toronto. Nice feed inside to Allen from Paul George for the layup. George looking for the contact made the bucket anyway. He's starting to percolate. Got that three in transition. Does a nice job using his body to shield the defender. Paul George draws the foul. Detroit against Cleveland tomorrow on ABC. Stan Van Gundy, the coach of the Pistons, as George knocks down the baseline jumper, says. And they better make sure they're in this together over this final 15. Paul George starting to heat up. He's starting to percolate. 12 points now for Paul George after having just six points in the first half, going two for nine. Pacers back in front. A wide open three, and George knocks it down. <laughs> George with the steal. And he slams it home. A 16-point third quarter for Paul George, who seems to have exercised his demons against this Raptors team. And look at the defense of Ty Lawson going to force a timeout called by the Raptors. And a real in the NBA, Paul George coming alive here in the third quarter. The Pacers at 17 in that hot third quarter. Forced to pass to Stuckey, and he drills the three ball. In transition. He really started to get going at the start of the third with that three. Leans inside the defender on that one, curls off a screen, delivers another perimeter jump shot. This one was just excellent ball movement. I thought you could have had two players prior to him take that shot, and then he shoots a gap. And then this last play, because watch the left arm of DeRozan. He feels it, and he goes right up. And it was visible for frustration from DeMar DeRozan. I, I, we had to look at it several times to see whether he fouled him, but he's got a chance to add to those 17 second half points. George for three, launches, got it! Wet, Paul George makes it a four point lead for the Pacers. He's now four of five, here's Paul George again. Biombo with good help defense didn't matter. And you have to be willing to be this guy right now if you're Paul George, right? The elite. George to Turner, the rookie who finishes on the sweet pick and roll. So back to back possessions, they play him on the post. That time they put him in the pick and roll. For an easy deuce from Turner. This is the largest lead of the ball game for the Indiana Pacers. Doris, this is not what. And George put him on ice. Deep freeze, an eight point Pacer lead. From Turner was an outstanding screen. How about create your own, a little separation from DeMar DeRozan. Again, another screen. And what do you think about being an elite player? Here's what he thinks. Every day you gotta prepare to be um, the number one option. You gotta prepare offensively and defensively uh, to be reliable. Um, it, it comes with a lot of pressure from um, coaches, teammates. And, uh, this is my opportunity to show who I am as an individual, uh, with my my chance of being a leader and uh, you know leading the team myself. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to you know this being my opportunity. Paul George has been the story of the second half for the Pacers and Monte Ellis, giving his dating back a couple of playoff seasons.
George from the baseline. Got it! An appropriate punctuation mark, exclamation point, by Paul George. As Joseph gets fouled, as people begin to exit, the Pacers, who missed the playoffs last season, back in a big way. And they take game one, 100 to 90, behind Paul George. Paul, for four regular season games and one half against these Raptors, you were shooting 30%. And then in the second half, you just kind of went off. What did you do to get yourself loose? Uh, a bit off. After the first half, I uh, watched film in the back uh, coming out. I was getting great looks. Um, I just wasn't being smart about my approach. Uh, I did a better job with that. I seen that I had some easy opportunities, some easy shots that I was missing in the paint. I got locked in. I got focused. I made shots. The team defense against that starting backcourt of Toronto was pretty spectacular from start to finish. What did you guys do against them, and how does that give you confidence going forward in the series? They missed shots. These two guys are good. They missed shots. We got to continue to make it tough on them. That's all we got to do. Um, they're going to make tough shots. We did a great job of not letting this crowd get involved late, and um, I think that's what helped push us, push us through this. Paul, you've been on this stage before, but you obviously missed almost all of last year. This year you're fighting for a playoff spot throughout the season. How much do you relish being back here, not just to say, hey, I'm back on the playoff stage, but to show people, hey, I can still lead a team? I love it. I love it. I'm looking at it as no pressure. Um, I've been here before being a low seed my rookie year. Uh, so this is almost new to me. All I got to do is come out and play. Uh, try to do as best as I can lead. And, and um, you know, uh, my guys are behind me. So they got all the faith, all the trust in me. Coach got the trust in me. Just got to come out and perform. Our play-by-play -play guy Mark Jones is obsessed with the shoes you wore to the game today. There's some sort of boat sort of shoes with like gold spikes on them. Tell me about those. There's some lubes. Yeah, there's some lubes. I wore them All-Star Weekend as well, so that ain't nothing new. Uh, I thought he was going to comment about my game shoes. <laughs> no, those are good. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Mom, Dale, what up, baby? Guys.